All right, guys, let's go ahead and look for some off-market apartment deals, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it for really, really cheap. Uh, in fact, you'll probably spend less than a dollar looking for a deal, and this is something that I did beginning early on when I just got started. You know, I didn't have hundreds of dollars of, you know, marketing budget for postcards and banner signs and ads. So what I've done is I'm gonna show you exactly what I did using a screen share so you're gonna be able to dive in right with me to show, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did uh, to look for off-market apartment deals just using the internet, a laptop, and some, you know, brain power. You're gonna need some of that. So stick around and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, guys, so what you guys are looking at is the screen of my laptop, and you probably see me here as well, right, on the upper right-hand corner. So I'm gonna assume a role of someone who's just getting started in this business, uh, don't know pretty much anything other than just, hey, I'm gonna go and look for some deals. Now, um, this is a very, very, very cheap way of doing, a uh, very archaic way, but it really works, and it's really effective, especially if you're looking for a multi-family. Um, I don't really quite see this working for single family, and I'm, you'll see why. So I'm actually really, really excited because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and actually look for a real deal and show you guys um, how this works. And by the way, any information I'm going to share are going uh, to be available to the public anyway. So I'm not going to share anything that's private. I'm not going to go and disclose email addresses or phone numbers. I'm going to do my best to make sure that any information that is being shared um, is already on the public record. So um, you guys, some of you guys know I'm, I'm from Chicago, Chicagoland area. And that's nice that uh, Google is telling me exactly where I'm at. So for those that uh, uh, want to stalk me down, there, there I am. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and look at a completely different area so that I am not biased because I know all the areas in Chicago that are, that are hot and you know, places to look at. But I want to go and look at somewhere else, where, uh, say like Indianapolis. I actually know very little about Indianapolis. I've uh, been there a couple of times right, for different events, but I don't, I don't know particularly a whole lot about Indianapolis. So... I'm gonna go and assume that I, I like I'm new to this market, right? I'm not I'm not sure what I'm looking at. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and this is Google Maps, by the way. I'm not using some fancy smashy uh, uh, software. It's just simple as going to maps.google.com, and you'll you'll see this. So first thing I do is I switch to satellite. And some of you smart cookies, you already know what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm looking at Indianapolis, and uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really know where to start, but I'm just gonna. Zoom in to where I can at least see um, the content of the streets. So I'm going to look around this area. Now already, I think I found something here. <laughs> so you guys can see here that, um, I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? So you, you look at the satellite map view, and you'll see roof lines. And you'll notice that some of these roof lines, like this one, actually looks like, a, like an apartment building. Maybe not. I'm going to, now, oh, this actually might be a church or some sort of a, uh, an industrial campus. So if you guys want to um, pan down this way to actually see, I call this the FBI view, because you know, I feel like a government agent uh, on, a, like a, on like a satellite view. Uh, but what you do for this, and you guys are thinking, wow, how is he doing that? So what you do is you hold that control key, right? The CTRL key, for those who don't know what that is, uh, control key, and click and drag. So you'll be able to just pretty much drag and do one of these things. It's pretty cool. I feel like I'm in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So this is really cool. Um, you can just go around, you know, stuff like this. This is pretty cool, right? So here's something already. Uh, that's just a church. Um, another church. This is an apartment building, right? It, it appears so. I'm going to verify that it is. Yeah, it looks like an, apart looks like an apartment building. It's right in front of a bus stop, as you guys can see right here, Michigan Street and State Avenue. So. Now the question is, okay, well, how do I know the address? I've never been there. Well, click right over the uh, uh, right click over the building and click where it says what's here. Click on that. Oh, look at that. 504 Wood Woodruff Place, West Drive, Indianapolis, Indiana. Right? So I know the address now, right? Okay, there it is. Boom. Might do a little street view as well just to see what it looks like. Because, again, I've never been in this place, so I, I cannot be biased. 
Um, it appears that there's, oh, I see. Okay, got it. That's why it looks different. Okay, so I was looking at the side of the building instead of originally how I was looking at. Okay, all right. Not a terrible neighborhood. Again, I don't know this area, so for those who are from Indianapolis, you might be thinking, yeah, this guy has no idea what he's, what he's saying. Well, yeah, because I don't know this area, and I'm looking at it as if I'm brand new to the market. But honestly, uh, this building doesn't look too bad. It's, you know, brick. Uh, I can see there's been some tuck pointing done, right? And this was captured in October 2017, so last year. And um, it's got a parking lot in the back. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I know where this is. I know where, where the address, uh, at least the address is. Here's what I do. I want to find out who the owner is. I want to make a contact uh, of the owner. Now we're looking for off-market deals, and this may not be. Uh, this may not turn into a, a deal, right? The owner just just might as well say, "Hey, I'm not interested," right? They may, they may give us a cold shoulder. So this is just about any like any marketing where in the beginning you're going to do a lot of hustle and you're going to do a lot of work. So let's go and copy down the address. Okay, here we go. Control C, which is copy for those uh, don't know what that is. Here we go, copy. And to, do, to find out who owns this, uh, public records says it all, right? So if, if we want to find out who owns this baby, uh, we're going to go into the tax assessment. So county tax assessor site. So Indianapolis, I'm going to first find out what county it is. Indianapolis <coughs> County. <coughs> there we go. So it's, it's Marion County. Wow, it's pretty square. <laughs> so we're going to go to Marion County. Tax assessor. Okay, there we go. And go in, dive in, boom. Again, this is public record, so I'm not doing anything fishy, guys. So one of the things that we want to do is I want to I want to go into more of the tax treasury records. So let me see if I can do this. And again, I, I don't do this a lot in Indianapolis. Um, search by address, boom, boom, boom. There we go. So hit. No result. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try that. There it is. So uh, if you guys are having a hard time um, looking for or searching by address and nothing's popping up, it's because you added a little too much data. So what you want to do is cut back, right, um, and just leave the the um, street na uh, street name and street number. So here we right, right, uh, we have it, right? There we go. Five hundred four Woodruff Place, West Drive. It's owned by Mr. John Simmons, right? Now again, public record, uh, we're not exposing John here, okay? Uh, he should have known better to put this on a trust if he wanted some privacy, right? So we're gonna generate the record card. Hit, oh, hold on, let's see if we can do this. So it's, I mean, having, oh, there it is. Okay, so I have to download it, got it. Okay, so it's not a browser view. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, guess I'll, I'll download it, okay? Here we go. So this is what the owner is seeing. I believe, if I can predict this right, this is what the tax bill is. So, come on now. Yep, there we go. So this is what the, the owner gets every year. <coughs> there we go. John B. Simmons. And here's all the information, okay. Now, some of this information is gonna be you know, it's going to be important, especially if you're doing your due diligence, but I don't need it right now. What I really want is I need to know the, the seller's information. That's all I'm looking for. So the rest of the information can be useful, uh, and it will be for sure in your due diligence period. But what I'm really after is this, right, Mr. John B. Simmons. So um, I might go and look for the tax by the tax treasury. Um, so let's do this. Marion County. Tax treasurer. There we go. <coughs> so we're gonna look, we're gonna go in here, a different department of, right, the Marion County. So we're gonna look at property taxes. Uh, again, I'm assuming the role of a beginner. So let's see. Um, so obviously if you guys are from Marion County, that you guys may have done this uh, thousands of times, but I'm, uh, I'm assuming the oh, role of beginner. Okay, so I, I found the, the view, pay or view bills, which should give me the address of the, um, of the, uh, uh, the person. Oh, perfect, there we go. Man, I found something. So 
that was Woodruff place. Oh, I'm going to do the captcha. Okay. Oh, we, we could have done through owner's name instead of the property street address. Okay. So we're here already. So we're just, we're just, we just go run with this. Okay. So after a couple minutes of waiting, we were finally here and we got the inquiries. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of entries. So there's 300 entries and I'm sure it's more than that. So what we're going to do and what, what this allows us to do is just hit property addresses and we have it in order. So let me see if I can find this baby, which is 504 Woodruff. So let's keep on going. Oh, wrong one. So we're going to keep going. Yeah, I mean, you would imagine this would be much easier, right? It's, I mean, it, so, all right, we're getting close. 522, 509. Oh, well, that's interesting. 503 and 505. So 504 is missing. We have a ghost uh, property. Interesting. Hold on. So let's let's see. I might be wrong as far as. Okay. So apparently 504 does not exist. Maybe because. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so it's clear that it's got it's got one address. Now sometimes it it can have multiple addresses, and if that's the case, then it's probably a condo. Um, condos will obviously have multiple addresses or multiple unit number, but in this case, I'm seeing um, I'm seeing just one address, and it seems like five hundred five hundred nine is missing or five hundred four is missing. So I am not sure what is going on. So yeah, it's it's missing. <laughs> Goes to 509, 502, 503, 505, and that's it. Yeah, there's it, it, it's missing. So something's off here, guys. Um, obviously, this isn't telling us. Um, maybe John Simmons living living in, which I don't know if that's the case. But uh, let's go and look for a different property. Okay. But you guys might already be getting the idea here um, that you look for the roof line and uh, if it's, it looks like a multifamily and you can confirm that it is, all right, you know, you got yourself a database without, you even have to go out the door of your house, right? This is a very, you know, quote unquote lazy way of doing it, but it, it is very effective and it's time, time effective for sure. So uh, here's some couple of apartment buildings. Yeah, what appears to be okay. So senior community. So obviously you have to do, you have to take a look very closely. But here's something I I think could be a potential candidate. Let me uh, go ahead and drop my. Okay. Yep. So we got a couple apartment buildings now. Not the best shape in the world, but hey, if the figures work, why not? Right. So. 2024 East 25th Street. Okay, that's what we're looking at. So let's see who owns this baby. Here we go. Um, so we're looking at 25th Street. 2024 25th Street. So we're going to go ahead and put the captcha in there. And now we wait. So um, obviously we can always go back. We can go to the um, the assessor version of this, right, the, with the parcel numbers. But let's go and give it a wait. So you guys can see that um, actually I ended up finding this other site that seems to be a little more easier and finally loaded, finally waited. Uh, but here, if we're going to look at this, uh, but if we can't find anything on this, we'll definitely go and look at this because it looks like this is the new uh, government government page apparently. So we're looking at 2024 East. So we may have to do a lot of searching here as well. So you guys can see here, we have to get to 2024, 2024 East. And I'm not sure if we're gonna get much luck in this either. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's going up in, uh, oh, hold on. Nope. Yeah, so this is obviously not the best, you know, organized thing in the world. As you guys can see here, I mean, it's, it's just going off of everywhere. So 
not the biggest fan, not the biggest fan of the way that this is, this is structured. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to go and mess with this here. Um, search. Yeah, this, this seems better. So I'm going to actually do control find. I can do that 2024. It's not in this page. So I'm going to go next 2024 in here. Clearly not. Okay, so none of these have two two fours. We're gonna go back to So I'm going to go back to looking at uh, property cards. Just This is what we've seen earlier, uh, if you guys remember. Um, so let's go ahead and hit. There we go. Uh, so it's actually owned by an LLC, which is good. I actually like properties that are owned by LLC, and I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll show you why as to why I like them better. Um, so here we go. we got the property cards. And there it is. Car, Carvinians, Carvinians, LLC. So here's what we do with the LLC name. Because for right now, all we want to do is contact the owner. So we're going to go ahead and actually do a Indiana uh, LLC lookup. LLC lookup. And we're going to go ahead and hit. Yeah, I've been, I've been on this site before. So uh, we're going to click on that. And we're going to go ahead and search the LLC name, Carvinians LLC. And of course, they they got a CAPTCHA thing going. So I gotta click on CAPTCHA, hit search, and we should have an inquiry. There you go, boom. So they're actually out of Illinois, which is quite interesting, uh, or actually Indiana. So there it is. Uh, they've owned, they had this LLC since 2008, so they've, they've been, a, been in the game for a while. Uh, and here's the individual. Paul R. Watson is a, is a person who uh, is the the owner of the LLC, which obviously is is the owner of the property. So uh, what's really cool is now you have an address and a person's name to which you can go and start sending out uh, a letter. Now with the letter, um, I'll show you guys how to do this in a very um, systematic format. Is you take the name, you copy it, and put it in a spreadsheet. Okay, and what I want you guys to do is is uh, separate the first name and the last name. Okay, and go ahead and write the address down of the mailing address. And what you also want to do is you want to break this down too into uh, state, city, zip code, all of that. Now you don't have to do the USA because you know that's kind of implied. So here it is. Um, I'm gonna actually add another row above. So owner first name. Um, I'm going to do owner, last name, mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip. <clears throat> now, those labels are going to be super important. I'm going to share exactly why. And um, okay, so we got their info. We got that as their business address. Let me see if. One second, if I can double verify something. Okay. Sometimes you can Google them and see if they have, you know, if they're public. If they are, great. Then you can contact them. So here it is. We got their mailing address, and we also have their uh, the address for the property. So we're gonna do property address, which is what we're interested in. <coughs> Boom. Property city, which I know is Indianapolis. Same thing here, uh, property state and property uh, zip. So, all right. By the way, this is Google Sheets, so this is absolutely free. If you don't have Microsoft Office, guys, if you're using Gmail, you know, Google Docs comes in, it's free. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. So, 
There we go. Make it this make this a little bigger. So here we have the data, right? So the owner, first name, last name, mailing address, uh, all public record. I'm not sharing something that can't be found anywhere else, right? So here it is. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and this is super important. Now, this is where you know I might have to take back with take that back with the Microsoft Office, but you can go to the library and they got Microsoft Office. So you're gonna need Microsoft Office for this one. So I sorry guys, I, I lied. Um, forgive me. Um, so we got the data right here. I'm gonna go and download this <coughs> as um, as an Excel file. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it in the, the desktop. Okay, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up Word. There we go, and we're gonna go ahead. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and write a letter. And before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and click on mailing and select recipients, use existing list. So the list that, I, that we downloaded, guess what? It comes from the Excel sheet, right? So obviously the, the, the proper way, the more effective and efficient way to do this is if you have, let's say 20, uh, 20 inquiries, right? A list of 20 property owners, that will be more effective. So I'm just giving you more of a, an example for, you know, for the sake of time. So here's our untitled spreadsheet. Here we go. And what's really cool, and some of you guys may already know this because you guys went through business you know, classes. <clears throat> uh, for those who haven't, here it is. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and insert merge field, owner first name, owner last name. Now this is super useful if you're dealing with 20 different names. You don't wanna have to write 20 different letters that will be lots of time you're gonna have to spend. So owner first name, owner last name, mailing address, city. So what it, what this is doing is in place of this the, these codes that you're, you're seeing, it's gonna go ahead and merge those data for you so that you don't have to write 20 different letters if you're dealing with 20 different uh, uh, owners. Okay, so if you can preview results, boom, look at that. You see it goes right in there, right? And then I'm gonna make this a little prettier. There you go. Boom. <coughs> and then go ahead and put, you know, just as any professional, actually, we want this first. So I'm going to do Sam Kwok, or I can put my LLC in there. Okay, XYZ, you know, I'm going to do, I don't want you guys to know where I live. Okay, Main Street, um, Chicago, Illinois. There we go. And then go ahead and write your letter. So, dear, again, insert. First name, my name is Sam Kwok. I'm a real estate investor in the area. Oh, yeah. I am writing to you to ask if you would be interested in selling your property, comma, and we're gonna go and insert the property address right there. So that's the property that we're, we're interested in looking at and seeing if they're interested in uh, selling that property. Right? There we go. I'm writing to you to ask if you would be interested in selling your property, right? I may be able to help you potentially double your, your net. Now, for those who are wondering why am I saying that, can I really help that person double their net? Uh, yes, I can. I have a way, there's a strategy. Now, obviously, you guys aren't going to write that down if you don't know how. Uh, the, my students, obviously, for those who are my trainees, you guys know exactly why I'm writing that down. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, in the link, to, link description below if you guys are interested in being one of our trainees. Um, and I'll show exactly what I, why I, just, I put that in, and how I actually help people pay, uh, walk away with doubling their net. So uh, here we go. If you are interested in selling your property, please give me a call or email me at, and then go ahead and put your email, right? xsxxgmail.com. And I'm gonna just put a random phone number. <coughs> right? Sincerely, uh, whatever your name is, right? San Quak. So uh, here we have a pretty polished letter, right? So you, what you can do is you can go ahead and don't go to click on uh, print on the upper right hand corner. What you are gonna do is go to mailing, 
uh, and finish your merge and then click on print documents. That way, if you have 20 owners uh, on the list, you'll be able to print 20 letters and each letter is gonna have all the, the data that you've selected through the Excel sheet. Pretty cool, right? So this is basic merge. Um, this is virtually free. If you don't have Microsoft Office, you can go do, do this in your uh, local library. Um, fairly easy to do. So go ahead and click on print documents, print everything. Now as far as the envelope, I encourage you guys to handwrite the envelope. Uh, the reason being is that we want the seller, the, the owner, opening the envelope in the first place. If it's printed professionally, it's more than likely that it's gonna go right into the trash can. So we obviously don't want that. So handwrite the envelopes. If you don't wanna do it, have a family member. If you have kids, pay them to write it. If they have good handwriting, that is. Uh, you don't want a four-year-old writing the, uh, the envelopes for you, obviously. So handwrite the envelopes because you want to make sure that they open uh, the letter. If you want to make this even more effective, buy one of those gift card envelopes with colors like blue, green, or red and actually handwrite those because they will be open. And you'll, you'll notice how effective those are uh, if you want to increase your effectiveness. Now, obviously, you're going to have to pay postage, which is 49 cents. Hence why I told you guys in the beginning of this video, it's going to cost you less than a dollar uh, per lead if, you're, if, that's what, if that's your budget. So if you're doing 10 leads, that, that's going to cost you $4.90. I mean, if you're going to really factor in paper, ink, you know, all that, I mean, it's going to come down to five bucks for 20 people that you're going to reach out to. So based on my math and based on what I've done in my track record, usually um, every 20 to 30 direct letters I send, I usually get one coming back that says, yeah, I'm interested. So obviously this works. It's all about numbers. Uh, and, and, and hitting up the right person, really. You don't want to hit up everybody because you're going to waste a lot of money on marketing. But if you hit up, hit up that certain people that you want to target, you're going to have success uh, because you're going to have um, the results that you really want. You're not going to waste time on results that you don't want. You're going to spend time on the leads that you want to work with that you want to buy properties with. So here it is, guys. Um, so from the very beginning, right? using Google Maps, very archaic way, very easy, cheap. You're not paying for database or anything like that. All you're doing is just scanning around, looking for roof lines to see if there are any multifamilies in your area, apartment buildings, finding out what the address is of that property, using that address to, going to, to go over to your county tax records and tax assessor records. And one thing that I'll, I'll give you a disclaimer, certain states may not allow this. Uh, certain states, it's not illegal to do this, but certain states won't disclose certain information to you. So some of you guys may have a hard time doing this, but if you guys can figure out a, a way, a different variation, a creative way to do this, uh, then yeah, I, I think you guys are gonna be coming out of the top. So from there, we're gonna look for who the owner is, what their address is, and then from there, we send a letter using the method that I've showed you, which is very effective, very efficient. Uh, this, should, this should cost you less than $5 to send out 20 letters, uh, very effective. So guys, I hope this helped, and this is what I exactly, this is this step, this right here is literally the duplicate step of what I've done early on before I had hundreds of dollars of marketing budget to spend on uh, postcards, right? All those things. So guys, utilize this, take action. Uh, I hope that you guys took a lot of notes. If you guys need to rewind, pause, rewatch, uh, you guys are more than welcome to do that. So uh, again, if you guys are interested in more info, more materials, go and look down in, in the uh, link description box below because I got a lot of goodies in there that you can check out and download. Uh, take advantage of all absolutely for free. It's my gift to you guys. Uh, you guys can download and have it. So guys, I hope this helped. And uh, I might do another video just like this to show you how to find deals uh, in a different variation. If you guys are working with a little bit more budget, I'll show you how to properly use that budget so that you're not wasting money on you know silly marketing tactics that aren't gonna aren't gonna work anyways. So here it is, guys. Cheapest way to look for off-market apartment deals. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you guys. All right, guys, take care. Well, hello there. You made it to the end of this video. Congratulations. And that probably means that you like our video and you love what we did. So be sure if you want to get more information, more YouTube videos from us about real estate investing, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notifications on our future videos about real estate investing.